Welcome to Rich Conversations. Last weekend, I went to the Field Museum. I try to go to a museum at least once a week because I find that I just learned so much from just walking around the museums. And so I rode the bus there and Michigan Avenue is on the route. And here in Chicago, it's known as the Magnificent Mile. Expensive stores lie in the street. But it, you know, of course, it's not only limited to tourists venturing the area. So I see this line outside of Burberry, this long line. Why is that? Waiting is such an awful experience. So why would someone spend their Sunday afternoon waiting outside the doors of a luxury clothing store? And so the rest of the ride to the Field Museum on the bus, I was just thinking about this. It's through culture that society forms a vision of what success is and what it looks like. And this is where self-reflection comes in. Self-reflection is one of the hardest things to do. And it's often painful. We have to be objective about where we're starting in our current situation. To know oneself requires intentional thinking and amplified awareness. It's difficult and it takes a lot of time. And that's why most people don't do it. It's quicker and easier to rely on the images and ideas that society already has and holds valuable, right? But if most people find something valuable, it will be expensive. This is the foundation of our economic system, supply and demand. Without taking the time to think about what you actually value or what success actually looks like to you in your life, you'll prioritize vanity over character. You'll look at life as this competition against your neighbors and your community members rather than working together to pool resources and build something that benefits everybody. You know who benefits from an individualistic mentality? The status quo and the big corporations that everyone says they're against but still support by participating in the culture. What I'm saying is that the more time you spend reflecting on your life and what you want from it, you'll understand what you don't need and you won't buy what you don't need. You won't have to work so hard for someone else at a job you don't like to buy the things you're told you need to have to indicate your success. Through developing confidence in yourself, you'll be stronger at your decision making. You gotta play money ball. Money ball, baby. Don't value the same things as everybody else because chances are other people have more resources than you. You have to win at life your own way. I get more compliments on this coat I'm wearing than anything else I've ever owned. Both men and women have gone out of their way to tell me that they like it. And this coat, this coat right here that I'm wearing, it's a brown coat if you're listening on podcast, only cost me $46. See, I knew what I wanted and then I just looked for it, right? So early on, initially, when guys would approach me and they, they would say they like it and they'd ask where I got it, I would tell them because I was really flattered and excited. But then eventually I stopped because if you like it, why don't you go and find it for yourself? I don't need a bunch of doppelgangers around the city, you know, wearing the same coat as me, right? This coat is just one example, but I've applied it to all aspects of my life. I'm not anti-consumption at all. I am not. I'm about intentional consumption. Material items, food, media, you are what you consume. Vanity and opulence have been a part of human culture for a very long time. And you know what results from status seeking? Greed. Men and women have equally played a role in this throughout history. Let's use a seemingly harmless example of a teenage boy. All teenage boys are trying to do is impress girls. So what are they going to do? They're going to be influenced by the images of culture that indicate success in that department. And teenage girls, they're going to do the same thing. In the modern era, it leads to consumption, which benefits people up at the top. Teenage boys, they want to wear what's fashionable, right? Because girls think you're cool if you wear the fashionable things, right? If you're not fully happy with the status quo, I'd advise you to do the most challenging thing self-reflect. 
It will help you build positive habits and it will help you eliminate what you don't need. Creating something greater starts on an individual level. Empower yourself to make a change in your own life.